Hey fellow minions of technology, what's going on? It's Tim Lee here in Legacy Studio. We're actually at my office studio uh, where I shoot more of my photos and stuff. This is the ESDDI LED shooting tent kit. Uh, if you've ever done product shots in any kind of way, shape, and form, you know there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And maybe you've bought uh, the fold out tents before, something like that. Um, this I got because I'm really excited about it. It's got a very unique thing that I've never seen with any other tent kit. Now, usually when you take product shots, you set up a tent, um, you put some stuff inside it to kind of help either add some more design or try and white things out. Then you gotta install lights on each side of it, on the top and on the sides, to truly get the whitest form of pictures that you can get. And it's not, or what would be called a high alpha picture. And it's not, easy and it takes a lot of room to set this kind of stuff up and so when I saw this I really freaked out I ordered it it came in the mail and then I freaked out even more because if you take a look at it from the side there's pretty much nothing there and I'm telling you this is literally everything you need to do a really good product photo no joke uh, now, it does come with some other stuff that I'll show you in just a minute, though that's very simple stuff. Um, but let me let me set this up. We're gonna do a quick time lapse of me setting this up. And you're just gonna see how simple this is and at the same time, how phenomenal it is. Because I, I, I can't wait to take a picture and show you what it's capable of doing. So sit tight, let's go into time lapse and put this guy together. So as you can see, the setup time for this is pretty much two minutes. And it's all folded Velcro around the sides. So all you gotta do is kinda just press the sides together and it locks together. And that's all there is to it. It's that simple. Now, another nice feature, I'm gonna, there's a lot of great features about this. Another nice feature is that this could be fully enclosed if you want it to be. All you gotta do is reach inside here and pull up on this and pull it up and then Velcro it into place. Now, because this is fully sealable like this, all you gotta do is open up the little door here and that will help you take your pictures. As you can see, there's some nice reflective material here. It's on the front and the two sides in here. And then I'm gonna show you in a second that there's some different stuff that we can lay inside here to help. As I've gotten to use this, I personally prefer this door to be laid down and just leave it open wide. I don't mind any cast reflections coming from the outside because you'll see in a second here how great this thing does. So I leave that door down and I lay my stuff over top. I do suggest that you keep this box close and you don't get rid of it because it holds uh, our stuff that can be laid inside very, very well. So hold on to this box. This is literally what it shipped in. You can see how thin this box is, it's wonderful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out of here and you can see that we have a couple different colors of materials that can be laid inside this and they're very strong, sturdy materials. So we have white, we have gray, which looks like a 50% gray. We have a pure black and we have a tan color that looks more like it's trying to lead towards a tungsten color. So if you're looking for any different kind of effect, these come with this kit, which is really, really cool. And then finally, I haven't used this yet, but this is a translucent material that can also be installed. And let's open it up and have a look-see here. Also, just a translucent material that you can lay in here as well, uh, pasted up in the back. It looks like it can be pasted on multiple sides so that if you need to, you can stick that in there in any which way to help with deflection or whatever you're trying to do uh, to simplify light, to make it more of a soft box. Whatever you're needing to do, uh, this is here as well, though I have not needed this so far as I've been using this. Now, I'm personally a fan of high alpha photographs that you do for production. Uh, there's so many different kinds out there, but uh, the quickest kind that I've seen is high alpha, and the easiest way to do that is just to use white, so let me show you how that works. These in their basic form are just basically backdrops, and you can see that it's very, very simple. It's a very, very strong vinyl, and it's got two Velcro pieces on each side. They look like they're just adhesive uh, put in place. So be careful with them, but they haven't even come close to falling off for me. What you do is you get down on your knees here and you look all the way into the back and there's some very small Velcro triangles in each corner in the back. All you gotta do is take this and stick it to those two Velcro triangles and it'll stick right off the bat. And then it lays the material out nice and straight. And look at that. You're ready for your first shot. And also because it's in a warp coming down like this, 
you won't have to worry about any kind of fold, except for a very minimal fold deflection, but it still looks really good. Now, truth be told, I haven't even gotten to my favorite part about this. Let me show you this. This comes with a power supply, which means something on this sucker gets powered. Check this out. This light box has an LED panel built into it, which is just awesome. And it also has a hole right here where you can stick your lens through the top and shoot down on the scenario inside, which is even more crazy. When you're ready to get a little bit more excited, throw the on switch on this guy and then start turning up your power. And you can see, <laughs> this is awesome. I mean, this is really, really cool. This is at full brightness right now. Having it at this brightness means that you will need very little ISO to shoot great pictures in here, which means a lot less noise and it gives you the flexibility to do whatever you want. I have three beautiful lenses here. I have a Fujika 135 millimeter, which I can set in here. Uh, I have a 50 millimeter 1.7 right here and then I have my lens that I use all the time my um, Osawa 28 2.8 they're all amazing lenses and we can go ahead and stick them in here and pose them as we want and let's see what kind of pictures we can get from this so at 100 ISO at 1 200th of a second at 1 2.8 this is the picture we get in 3 2 1 and that's a great looking picture by itself. And we can get some really great angles here and take a look at how that floor works with the surface. Three, two, one. Man, I love that. It looks so cool. And we've barely even touched the cusp of going a little bit brighter or shooting into the, uh, shooting into the lenses to see the brightness of the lens. Three, two, one. All right, let's try for a shot kind of coming from the top here so it works really well. Here we go, three, two, one. We are, oh, I love it. And let's come right down on top of some of these lenses and take a look inside and you're gonna see the LED pattern that's shining down on two of them right here. Three, two, one. Now I am very curious about seeing about how this would be like to shoot straight down. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open up this panel on the top here and I'm gonna go ahead and stick the camera straight down through the top and see what kind of picture we get shooting straight down. Should look right down on top of the lenses here. Kind of something to keep note of, because that is quite a uh, strong light. It's not a ring light, it's not anything particular. It's very bold lights. So, um, is shooting straight down? Still a possibility, still, I'm sure there's some benefits. Not sure what I would utilize shooting straight down for like that, but it is very unique how well it's lighting up the lenses. Let's go ahead and pull up the front door now and make this encompassed inside here and see what we can do shooting through the little door in the front and see what that extra reflection does to our lenses when we put it back in. So now we're ca casting a lot of front reflection on this as well, which is really nice. And it should give us a little bit of a different look as we take pictures of these as they get even more high alpha than they were before. Let's see what we get. I mean, you gotta admit, those are on pure white. I mean, that's amazing. It looks fantastic. Uh, shall we try a different uh, floor and see what it looks like if we put a different uh, backdrop in there, see what we get? I think this could be cool. I personally like cooler tones when I'm taking my pictures, so let's go ahead and switch to the 50% gray and see what we get. I'm assuming it's 50% gray, don't quote me on that. Okay, there's our 50% gray or whatever gray that is. It is definitely a bit of an off gray. I wanna try and reduce that fold and crease back there. So if you can probably store these flat, that's probably a better idea. It seems like they do crease ever so slightly, but I don't know about how much that will affect the final photo. Let's see what we get now with that. Wonderful, making sure I don't get the sides in the shot. Probably would make more sense just to shoot it straight forward. Okay, so you can see I've kind of adjusted this now so you can get a little bit closer and uh, get, see a little bit more. We're shooting on the black now, which is kind of a semi-gloss. Um, so it's definitely reflecting back the light up. So it's not exactly trying to mute stuff. It just looks like it's just trying to give it a different look overall. So let's see what kind of pictures we get out of the camera when we shoot with this. So I'll bump up my ISO to about 500 to get this shot. F2.8, here we go. That's pretty beast though. I gotta admit, I still like it. I still like it a lot. And it would probably be easier if you shot this on a tripod. Man, that looks so good. I love it. All right, so I got the tan in here and it's definitely, I would say it's attempting to get some kind of a tungsten tone, but because the LEDs are daylight, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. 
Um, and truth be told, it just makes it kind of a sand or an off-white. I don't know what you're seeing in the camera at the moment. But let's grab some shots. I think this would be like a beach scene kind of look. Uh, let's see what we get out of the camera. There's one stop below, which is my preference. Let me come over to the other side here and get shots from the other side of the camera. So I don't like the tan. I don't like that one so much, but man, they got some great options though. I love the black, I love the gray, and I love the white. And I love that I need zero, and I'll say it again, I love that I need zero other lights to make this kind of stuff happen. One light, this is all I need to get seriously good shots. Um, the link is in the description below. Please check it out. Uh, I think it's an excellent buy. I really do. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hope you liked this video. Uh, thank you so much for putting up with my lights. One of them puts off some kind of green cast. The other one's much better and they're all I have here in the studio. So I do apologize for that. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. And by the way, thank you to all the new subscribers who've come and checked out Legacy Studio. We'll see you next time. God bless guys. Bye.